All right, so welcome one, welcome all to the official Planetside 2 Speedrunners announcement. The official Planetside 2 Speedrunners announcement. Today we're gonna go over a bunch of different stuff. I have my notepad here on the side. I have a lot of different things that we gotta go through. So let's get started. So first off, what is Speedrunners? So Planetside 2 Speedrunners is a 1v1 tournament. The rule set is as follows. It is a race to 100 kills. No tanks, ground vehicles, ESFs, or bastions alongside of max suits may be used to get killed. Vehicles can, however, be used as transportation. No outfit resources may be used during the match, so orbitals, citadel shields, etc. may not be used. Both players are free to play any class of infantry as they please and are free to switch between the classes as needed. There are no gun restrictions. It'll be same continent, same faction for each match. The first round faction and map played is decided by the higher seed. The loser of the subsequent rounds then gets to choose the faction and map that comes further. The first player to win two rounds wins the best of three and moves forward in the tournament. So let's watch an example of gameplay. <laughs> an example of gameplay from speedrunners. Let's just not bring that guy up. Yo, Leroy just holding left click right now. Farming the brains. Oh my god, bro! Holy shit! Did you he has 26 kills in three minutes? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? And he's still going! This could be the new world. This could be the world record. That's Leroy. Oh my god, bro. They're still going. How is he doing this, bro? This is planet side. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> He's at 31 kills. As you can see, there's big skill that's going to be uh, showcased in, in in this format uh, you can see both players here are speed running they're on the same continent they're actually at the same base as well and they're on the same faction so they're gonna go to 100 kills this was an example of a match and we've been doing exhibition matches now for the past month so very very exciting stuff now who is playing in the tournament who is playing in the tournament we have 16 people playing in the tournament. We are going to go through each person, introing them, the country that they're representing, the faction that they're, excuse me, not the faction, the uh, the class that they like to play, uh, their brief description, and, you know, we'll hype them up a little bit. So, first player, Gratka is dead, known planet side streamer, big boy Greg, Brazilian heavy assault from the Black Arrows. Emerald Main will be playing in the tournament. His description is stupid and bad, trackball enthusiast and creator of the Greg Saw. Graka is, uh, he, he has indeed changed the, uh, the, the meta here. When it comes to the Gauss Saw, even getting, even getting Aflick, the anchor man himself off of the Gauss Saw, or excuse me, off of the anchor and onto the Gauss Saw. Aflick has a gun that nobody else in the game has, the, 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 the service anchor, and he doesn't even touch it anymore because of how good uh, Graka has made the Greg Saul look. So Greg will be our first player announced tonight. Moving on to the second player, Tarek from KN1. American Heavy Assault main again from KN1. Emerald server, number six kills all time. For NC, I'm assuming Emerald, and just a casual that likes to farm. You guys may have heard uh, about Tarek from uh, the the more the first time I ever got to talk to Tarek actually is from Outfit Wars drama, and he's a great guy. Do not you know equate all the Can One drama to everyone because as we can see from Tarek, he is a great example that not everybody from that outfit is necessarily a bad person. Tarek, very glad to have you have very glad to have you, excuse me, on the tournament lineup, and I can't wait to see you play. Up next, Tree Man. Another American heavy assault main from Recursion. And uh, you know, Recursion, uh not really a car uh, an emerald outfit, but Tree Man is from Emerald. Part man, part tree. All tree kills count towards his KDR, and indeed they will. Uh, excited to have Tree Man on as well. Haven't had a lot of opportunities to talk to him, but from trading with him on live server, I know he is a force to be reckoned with. Or is it not a force to be re I don't know. Don't fuck with this man because he's popping off. All right. Thank you, Tree. Can't wait to see you play. Moving on to the next person. Land Will. Landwell, we've seen him play in the exhibition matches. Former world record holder, I believe, with the third best time. 
a U.S. Max main from the Beetlejuice division, Emerald main, and he's the best match thrower in A. This is uh this is in you know big boy Mitch. He's talking about when he versed Dudas and he let Dudas win the second round and then subsequently lost the third round as well and threw the match. Also threw the first sub 20 minute time. But Landwell, aka Mitch, very excited to have him on for the tournament as well. And it's gonna be very, very exciting to see what he whips up. Former world record holder, I believe now he has the third fastest time, and it's gonna be very, very exciting to see what he does. Up next. Gan idiot, the anime weeb himself, representing Japan, the light assault from recursion, Connery Main, a huge weeb, professional feeder, and idiot. Gan, a great guy. We saw him play in Gun Game and perform very, very well. Cannot wait to see what Gan has up next. Gan's going to do a really good job. And as you can see, he's one of the few people that isn't going to be playing Heavy Assault. So I'm very, very excited to see how he goes in the tournament. All weebs out. Up next, James, aka OBTTV, the man himself, B-H-O-T, actual, Pog U. The UK Heavy Assault himself from B-H-O-T, Miller, Maine, Watched up Jaegermain trying to relive the glory days. James, known for leading the BHOT scrim team and coming out on top in the recent pill tournament. Very, very excited to see what James has up next for us as well. We saw him a go against Richard, arguably the greatest player to ever touch planet side. And yes, even better than Saiyan. And James came out on top and beat big boy Richard was taken too. So very excited to see what James has up next for us as well. Cannot wait to see him play. Moving on to the next player. Dudas Flutus What W. What W. The American Heavy Assault main from the Bushido Way. Raining from the Emerald server. Hi, I'm Dude Fluids. I did piloting, then infantry, and scrims. I'm a BOA player currently. Dudas Flutus known for moderating this chat. And being an evil force to be reckoned with, we've seen him do several exhibition matches coming out on top and doing a very good job in them. So I'm also very excited to see what Dudas has up next for the tournament. Thank you, Dudas. Moving up to the next player, Leroy Twizzlers. Leroy Twizzlers. The American Heavy Assault main from Dawsonfall. Reigning from the Emerald server... He's a Quake player. <laughs> He's a Quake player. Ziz homie lover and aims lightning gun in his sleep. Leroy Twizzlers, the current number one record holder. I shouldn't have put that there. I'm getting distracted now. The current number one record holder for Planet Side 2 speedrunners. And nothing really to say about Leroy. Another individual that should not be trifled with. One of the fastest fraggers in the game. And I can't wait to see what he has in store for us in the tournament. Moving up to the next player here, Moons, the Zoomer himself. The U.S. Heavy Assault from the Black Arrows. Rest in peace, Bex. Reigning from the Emerald Server, he is a young Zoomer trying to get good. Currently playing for Bex A on Jaeger and played in Pill I and Pill 2. And for sure, what we saw from him is that in Pill I and in Pill 2, he is, again, not to be trifled with. And he's been a thorn in the side, I think, for a lot of known speed runners. He's won several matches and has come out on top in multiple situations. His aim is cracked and his frags are there. So I'm excited to see what the Zoomer himself has in store for us as well. Thank you, Moons. Moving up next to the next player, Ryan. Oi, bruv. You fucking won't, bruv. The UK Bolter from Bling, reigning from the Cobalt server, a literal tank, MC tank, London's poshest chav, innocent bolt crutcher, you're a nonce, suck your nan, bruv, shut your fucking go, bruv. I am so excited to see Ryan play in the tournament. Ryan has one of the fastest times as well for speedrunners, and now he's upgraded his computer as well, working with the other homies of the Planet Side 2 community to get himself the optimized computer setup. He is also going to be a person to watch. Ryan's going to be fucking insane, bro. He's new computer, new me, new monitor. Who dis? Yeah. 
Yeah, Ryan PS2, aka Ryan PlayStation 2, aka MC Tank himself will be playing in the tournament. I am so excited. Moving up next, Spaceman. The big boy Spaceman himself, higher than a motherfucking bird. Higher than a motherfucking bird. The Canadian Heavy Assault from DA and Recursion, reigning from the Connery server. He is a world champion 360 year, a pog champion, and he's the best worst player in the game. The highest in the room, and shout out Bobby. Bobby, bitch, make that body flip. You know I don't know karate, bitch. I'm dropping bodies, bitch. Anyways, Spaceman, super excited to have him on as well. One of the chillest guys I've ever talked to, and one of the chillest fraggers to ever play with. Uh, I've seen him... I've seen his comms when he plays at 6v6, seen his comms when he plays in speedrunners itself, and Spaceman, definitely a great addition to the homies playing in the tournament. Thank you, Spaceman. Moving up next, Spirit Monka W, the U.S. Heavy Assault reigning from Recursion. Reigning from the Emerald server as well, he's Ziz's pet monkey and the number one hairline slayer, Monka W, Spirit. Casted him in the recent match. He is a fragger as well, not to be trifled with. He is going to pop off, and I am so excited to see it. Spirit, thank you so much for signing up. Cannot wait to see you play. Up next, Spy. Hell yeah. Any Spires in the chat, bro? Let's go. The Italian. That's Italy, right? The Italian Heavy Assault main from ATP, reigning from the Emerald server. He's the king of the 2KD realm. Unmatched Emerald Legend. Sometimes goes positive, usually feats. Bad at all other games, reduced to playing Planetside, and addicted to come. Spy, one of the homies, a recent addition to the moderation team. And I cannot wait to see him play as well. He's done multiple matches fighting evil, evil Billy beings, excuse me, such as Dumbo Gumbo. So I cannot wait to see what Spy has up for us as well. Moving forward, the man himself, Zyros. Oi, bruv. You're looking a little cheeky today, bruv. The UK Heavy Assault from 69KD. Rank 1 Emerald VS outfit. Everyone has a little bit of ziz in them. Every fucking cunt out there. You're a fucking sick cunt if you want to be, bruh. Stop being a fucking sad cunt, alright? Go out, get bitches. Zyros, probably one of the greatest players i've ever seen in the game love watching his streams always popping up with the frags and i'm so excited to see what he has in store for us as well cannot wait to see what zyros has in store for us in this tournament as he also former world record holder only second to leroy twizzlers i cannot wait to see zyros's play moving forward we have a hick mcdick my dick my wrist i suck on it bitch because she roll up my shit i don't know what i'm saying but i'm gonna go hit the u.s heavy assault from Connery Server, Recursion Outfit. Played in PIL2 and plenty of pogs. Been playing Planetside 2 for eight years and came back from a long break like two years ago. CC, aka Hick, very excited to see what he has up for us as well. I've seen him playing some scrims. He's going to pop off and he's going to do a really good job. Do not consider him an underdog. He will likely frag out as well. And the final player. And the final player that will be playing in the first inaugural tournament for Planetside 2 speedrunners, Hangju. <laughs> we forgot to make his card. <laughs> we forgot to make his card. Hangju. The heavy assault from Emerald. He told me that he is representing China. And his outfit is salt. And all he had to say was, I kill you. Very, very cool. Thank you, Hangju. Cannot wait to see him play as well. He versed Leroy Swizzlers recently. And kept it extremely competitive. So again, I am so excited to see what he has up for us as well. Now is the time, the moment of truth. Who will be versing who? So first off, you can see that some seating is already placed. The top four times that we've ever had are going to dictate where the seating is. So you can see Leroy Twizzlers with the number one time is seed number one. Zyros with the number two time is seed number two. Landwell with the third fastest every time is seeding number three and Ryan is seed spot number four. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to live pull names from this hat. I have my Ahe Gao hat and I have all the names no, 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 no. inside the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops.
So I'm gonna go ahead and do this live. So we're gonna start out with seeding number five. Who will have the number five spot? This is bad. Pulling this the name out the hat. Bad. I have the name here. Who's and it's gonna be funny. Tarek. He will be number five Who's slot. Funny. We're gonna throw him into the number five slot here. Tarek will be the first name pulled. Attention fellow gamers. No anime beyond this point. So the number five slot here, you can see Who's will be funny. Tarek on the bottom right corner here. Who's now, up next, for seating slot number six, we have Spaceman. Spaceman will be slot number six. Pog, Pog, Pog. Let's add him to the sixth slot here. Spaceman going to be in seating slot number six. All right, moving forward. Slot number seven, Greg. Greg will be slot number seven here. Very exciting. Moving forward, Greg will be in seed number seven. Now, as we get deeper into the numbers, there aren't any matchups right now. As you can see, there are not any matchups right now. But once we get deeper into the numbers, the first number we will have a matchup is number nine. So continuing moving forward here, seeding slot number eight will be Ganidiot. Gan will be seeding slot number eight. He will be sitting right underneath Leroy Twizzlers. Now, for seeding slot number nine, who will be Gan's first matchup? And here we go. Gan will be versing Spirit. Oh, what a matchup. It's going to be Spirit versus Gan. Oh, that's going to be sick. So Spirit versus Gan, that's going to be a very interesting one. Cannot wait to watch that match. Now to seating slot number 10. Who will be versing Greg in the first match up there? I have the name selected here. And it looks like it's going to be... What a matchup! <laughs> It's going to be Greg versus James. <laughs> that's going to be sick. Oh, my God. That's going to be sick. Greg versus James. What a matchup. So, James going to be versing Greg on the very first round. Let's take a look at slot number 11. Who will be versing Spaceman? I have the card here. I'm pulling her out. And Spaceman will be versing Tree. Another recursion matchup. You couldn't rig it any more, Shockter. So Spaceman will be versing Tree in the tournament. Very, very pog there. Now, seeding spot number 12. Who will Tarek be versing? Who will Tarek be versing? I have the name here. And it will be CC. It'll be Hick McDick, a.k.a. CC, going to be versing Tarek in the very first round here. All right, that's slot number 12. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit scary. We're into our top four seating slots. We're into our top four seating slots. Who will be versing Ryan PlayStation 2? Four names remain. I've pulled a name out of the bucket here. And Ryan will be versing... <laughs> Ryan will be versing Dudas. Very exciting. Oh, dude, this is so sick. Ryan's going to be versing Dudas in the very first round here. Now, who will be versing Landwell in the very first round? I'm pulling the name out of the hat here. Pulling her together, and it's going to be Landwell versus Spy. Very, very cool. Landwell will be versing Spy. Two more names remain. Who will be versing Zyros? The 15th seed here versing Zyros will be... What a match. This is going to be a scary one. Moons versus Zyros. What a match, bro. That's going to be a that's going to be a wild card match here. And the final name, the person who's left over who will be versing Leroy, it's the rematch. It's Hangju versus Leroy Twizzlers on the first match up there. Very very pog. So let's take a look at the standings here, what we have going on. Whoops. Let me go present mode. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. When it comes to the matchups, first matchup against seed number one will be Hangju versus Leroy Twizzlers. Seeding number two will be Zyros versus Moons. Seed three will be Landwell versus Spy. Seed four will be Ryan versus Dudas. The remainder of the matches will have Gan versus Spirit, seed eight versus seed nine. We'll have Greg versus James on seed seven versus seed 10. We'll have Spaceman versus Tree on seed six versus 11. And then lastly, We'll have seeds 5 and 12, a.k.a. Tarek and CeCe, going up against each other. Now, it's charity time.
some days it feels like it's never gonna stop. It's kind of a, a mental war. Sometimes you just feel like it's not gonna get any better. Lo primero que le pregunté a mi papá fue, papi, yo me voy a morir. When you go through suffering, you learn a lot about yourself. Good stuff comes out of every bad situation. Dark circles all around my eyes. I was just out of it. In one moment, those three words, you have cancer, and my whole life changed. Without cancer, who am I? I feel like I could do anything. I could go to college, be a nurse, be a doctor, anything. I'm a straight-A student, focusing on getting my bachelor's degree in journalism. I'm just doing one step at a time. I would like to go in the filming industry. It's kind of always been something awesome to me, but it's going to take some work. While I was going through chemo, I learned how to read greens. I chipped and putted. I worked on sand shots, stuff that I would need to know. The best score I've had is an 86, but I really want to get down to 85 or less. I've been working at it, and I think that that's achievable now. I don't let physical limitations even cross my mind at any point in time. I'm just hoping to be sitting in a broadcast booth somewhere. Hopefully, that's, that's my goal. I'm not the same person I was when I first went into this. I'm a better human being and individual because I went through St. Jude. It wasn't like a hospital. It was like a fun, loving community, a family. You and I have vowed that we will do everything in our power to bring about the defeat of these catastrophic diseases. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, world-renowned. I need your help. Advancements in pediatric science. I can't do it alone. And clinical care. Please help me. We're going to treat children of every creed, nationality, and color. And by the grace of God, it shall be done. Every single dollar that comes to this channel in the month of April will be donated to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital for the kids. For those of you that don't know what's going on when it comes to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital, here's the quick verbiage that I pulled from their website. St. Jude's Research Hospital has, was founded in 1962. It is a pediatric treatment and research facility focused on children's catastrophic diseases, particularly leukemia and other cancers. The hospital costs about $2.8 million a day to run, but to patients are not charged for their care. It's located in Memphis, Tennessee, and is a nonprofit medical corporation designated as a 501c tax exempt organization by the Internal Revenue Service. St. Jude treats infants, children, and teens as well as young ad adults up to age 21 and for some conditions age 25. So, once again, starting April 1st, which is also going to be the very first day of the tournament. Every single dollar, whether it's a sub, a donation, or it's ad revenue, every single dollar that this channel, at this point, builds up somehow. Like, I don't know why y'all keep giving me money, but every single dollar that comes to this channel will go to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So, what are some incentives that we will be giving you to be able to donate? So, if we hit $500, I will shave my beard and my mustache live on stream. For $1,000, I will record and release the Planet Side song. For $2,500, I will do another full made costume stream. And if we hit $5,000, Leroy will live stream him shaving his head and finally laying to rest the scuffed hairline. So again, starting April 1st, do not donate now. Calm down. Starting April 1st, every single dollar that this channel, basically all the revenue that this channel builds up will go to that. But the incentives are specifically for the donations because we can't really track like subs and stuff. 
But essentially how I'm matching it is everybody who resubs will also go. But the specific donations that go to the, ch the link below will go to these incentives. Now, quickly, what's to come? Advanced statisticals powered by Varunda. Varunda has been added to the speedrunners team. We're going to be adding advanced analyticals very very soon as well to showcase the difference in between the racers as they go this might not come during this tournament but very very cool we're leveraging varunda's hard work in outfit wars so that hopefully we can do something good for the community instead of uh having a bunch of drama be the thing that fuels it so you can see an example of what's to come very very cool you've got the kills kpm hsr the average streaks that they had the kd the deaths and you can also see the graphs that show where they were who caught up who overtook etc but the match the matches start on april 1st like i said and i will see you fuckers there it's gonna be fucking lit I am so excited. I have never been more excited for shit that's going on in the stream, and it keeps getting fucking better. For the kids, Wide Hardo, we're doing this shit for real. Get your wallets ready for the month of April because it's going down. Thank you. Uh, we hot. I don't know.